Yo guys, this is Eric here and welcome to a brand new Pokemon Go video. This is going to be kind of a tutorial here. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Lake Trio in Pokemon Go. Now for the infographic here, the blue region is for Azelf, the pink region is for Mesprit, and the yellow region is for Uxie. Now following this, you should be able to reach all of the Pokemon for all the regions from your own house. The methods that I'm going to be showing you guys are going to be completely chill with Niantic. I think that actually might be how they, I'm not saying how they want it, but it's definitely not against their terms or anything like that. So I'm going to show three different methods because I know, you know, a lot of people have different accessibility issues. So the first method I'm going to show is actually my personal favorite, and that is through Facebook remote raid groups. The second is going to be through Discord remote groups along with other Discord servers for regions. And the third is going to be special apps for raiding. And these can include like the Poke Raid app amongst others. This is my least favorite just because uh, there can be some issues with them. But it's still a method and some people like it. So I'm going to go through all three of these methods right now for you guys. Alrighty guys, so when it comes to the Facebook method, you're just going to type in remote raids into your Facebook search bar, and then you're going to search by groups. Here, there's a lot of stuff like Pokemon Go remote raid invites. I'm personally in the Pokemon Go remote raiders. To me, it's the perfect size. If it's too large, sometimes I feel like it can be kind of hard to get invited to raids because there's so much competition for them. But if you're having some issues getting these guys, I could definitely recommend joining a few of these and I'll be leaving the links to join these down in the description below as well. So here we can go check out this group that I'm in right now. As you guys can see, people just throw in their friend codes for specific raids that are going on. So we got this one for Azelf, there's ones for Uxi, Mesprit raids, C, so we just saw one for Uxi and they're only accepting the first four, they add the Pokemon followed by their friend code. So again, and here's even a post by me for Cobalion that happened uh, yesterday. So I really recommend the Facebook group. It's pretty much the fastest way for me to get um, new Pokemon, but I'll show the other methods right now as well. For those of you guys that don't like Facebook, there's also a Discord method as well. Here are several Pokemon Go Remote Raid servers available on Discord. You know, there's the Pokemon Go Raids that has over a thousand people online. There's also Global Go Remote Raids that has 383 online. Um, there's some that over 2,600, over 3,593. There's actually this one server that is a Discord partner titled Pokemon Go Remote Raids. And these guys are huge. Um, there are raids going on all the time for Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azelf. People are hosting them all the time. And you can join simply by reacting to people's posts about um, these Pokemon that are going on. So here we have a good example here. Someone just announced that they are hosting an Azelf raid. And as you guys can see, for everyone who reacted, they have a random chance of being selected for the raid. So again, it's really huge and it gets full really quickly. But if you get in, I mean, props to you, you get invited to a new chat, which is super cool. And the raid just happens right away, really fast. And if you miss it, don't worry, because I mean, this group is so big, raids are always going on. And if it's too big for you, there's too much competition, no issue with joining one of these smaller servers as well. Alrighty guys, the last part to the Discord method is actually using the Silph Road map. Here you can find Discord servers for specific regions. So you can find Discord servers based on region. And this is actually really cool. We can like get Mesprit raids just by joining, you know, uh, Discord for London. You know, we don't have to join the Team Instinct one, but uh, we could even join something like Chippenham, you know, and we can request an invite and the people that are doing raids there We could just say hey, could I get sent a remote raid invite? Oftentimes, it's no big deal These are the people that are doing the raids anyways, and there's gonna be very very little competition 
for other people to want to raid um, with you internationally because you're in their local Discord server now. So that's just sort of my big brain play to get um, regionals across the world, you know, and this even works in places like Japan, Thailand, Taiwan, uh, pretty much anywhere. So I'm definitely a big advocate for using the Sylph Road as part of the Discord method. What you're seeing here is in the app Pokey Raid. Now, I'm sure this app is great most of the time, but I think it just got way too many people trying to go after these mons. I mean, here I am in auto join, and to even auto join, you actually need uh, some coins in order to do that. And as you guys can see, I'm in a 7,600 trainer queue to get Yuxi. So that's huge. It just takes a really long time to get into the queue. Next up is Raid Party, which again, um, I feel like has pretty similar issues. I actually was not really able to find a raid too often, and when I would click to join an Azelf raid, because that's what I'd see come up, you know, if you weren't premium, you actually have to wait a few seconds to get in and be able to raid properly with everyone else. So to me, the apps were a little bit lackluster for options, especially when everything else is free and more reliable. To show my devotion to my methods, I have completed all of these raids within a 24 hour period, some of them multiple times. Just a little bit of guidance for completing these raids, dark and ghost type are recommended. If you have like Mega Gengar, that's probably the best Pokemon for these guys as all three of them are psychic Pokemon. Use dark Pokemon if you're worried about a lot of your Pokemon fainting and ghost Pokemon if you want a lot of damage out there fast. So the two raids that I've done are had 11 and 13 people and the Yuxi raid only had four people but all were able to be completed so these aren't terribly hard raids to get out of the way either. And here are all the Pokemon that I have. One's from England, one's from Taiwan, and one's from my home city of Lansing, Michigan. Well guys, thank you so much for tuning in and watching the video. If this helped you at all, please let me know. If you guys have any other methods for getting these guys, definitely drop them in the comments below. Also, for more Pokemon Go videos, just like, comment, and subscribe. I'm really thinking about going back into Pokemon Go more seriously as I had before, but you know, I'm a little bit unsure, so I'd really appreciate your guys' thoughts on that as well. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.